Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we put the Aegis Gladius through our 3.10 atmospheric test flight. This is part of my test flight series for 3.10, where we put all of the ships through their paces in atmosphere. If you do enjoy the series, do make sure to hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell so you don't miss out. Also, courtesy of my channel member, The Doctor, we have a Mantis RSI standalone ship to give away. Just make sure you are subscribed and comment with what you're excited for in 3.10. So the Aegis P5G Gladius says it is a fast light fighter with laser focus on dogfighting, an ideal interceptor or escort ship. So let's see if it lives up to that. So top speed at this altitude around New Babbage is about 250 meters a second. That is about 560 miles an hour or 900 kilometers an hour. It is very slow, especially when you compare it to something like the Arrow being 330 meters a second. The pitch ability is not too bad. Not great, but you are looking at around 40 degrees before it pulls you back. Roll is currently very, very poor and way too slow at 18.75 seconds to do a full resolution. Again, just like the Arrow, you can roll and yaw together to give you a bit of a quicker roll. Not the best way of doing it, but more like banking, I guess but it does improve results slightly. This I'm sure will all be tweaked and improved with aerolons. Now yawing gives you about 20 to 25 degrees movement before it pulls back. So in terms of overall maneuverability, it is not great. The speed is very slow. Roll is practically non-existent and yaw is almost the same. Pitching is okay but doesn't make up for the rest. Now this ship I feel should have a speed increase to be almost on par with the Anvil Arrow. Also, it does suggest that this ship is a great interceptor, so it needs that extra speed. In terms of general maneuverability, I think that once we have these controllable surfaces like flaps and aerolons, it should regain a lot more control in atmosphere. But until then, it's gonna be a little ineffective flying planet side, which is a bit of a shame. Now in regards to the performance on the course around New Babbage, very underwhelming, it felt very slow with the speed constantly dropping below 200 meters a second any time I tried to pull a maneuver off. It aligned to its vector quite quickly, but again, this is likely due to its low speed. The main worry was not rolling quick enough to make a turn. You have to kind of predetermine a turn in advance, which doesn't make for good flying around buildings or objects. Once you have rolled sufficiently, the pitch was fine to get around the corners, again likely due to its low speed and light frame. I do expect the Gladius will have a bit of a buff in some way and increase the speed a little bit. And as I say, once they have these controllable surfaces, it'll make it a lot more agile. Otherwise, the ship is not going to be intercepting anything. I personally feel that the speed and roll is where it is sort of let down. The Gladius wings are not all that wide, so you don't, so it doesn't generate a great amount of lift either. Also, the maneuvering thrusters on the Gladius are all around the body, not on the wings, which really doesn't give much of a help when rolling either. Another point to make though, is that the wing tips provide a vertical flat surface that can catch the wind and cause the, the rear of the ship to be pushed around quite easily. So when you're in strong winds, you do kind of get thrown around a little bit more than the arrow with it being much sleeker. Overall, I do think the Gladius is one of the ships that really suffer in atmosphere due to its design. I don't personally mind or think it's a bad thing that some ships are not good in atmosphere and good in space and then vice versa. The only issue is being that it will definitely affect people's choices when purchasing and I would hate to think that a ship like the Gladius would be dropped because of that. We will see what approach Cloud Imperium take to make the Gladius more effective in atmosphere in the future as this flight model is still not done and there are a lot of updates coming. Which leads me on to the final words before I go, which is more of a caveat that I'll include with each ship test flight. CIG did mention that this flight model is still not final and will be tuned, balanced and adjusted as and when they need to. Also, things like differences between main VTOL and maneuvering thrusters, for example, will be balanced more and ships will eventually gain aerolons and flaps to better aid in atmospheric flight. Any changes we do see in the future to the flight mechanic, I will be sure to jump back into the cockpit for another flight test, but do not write the ships off yet. It is still work in progress. But with that said, do let me know what your thoughts are regarding the Aegis Gladius in atmosphere and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of the series. Tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time my videos go live. Hit the like button if you're excited for 3.10. And come hang out over on twitch.tv forward slash Super Mac Brothers Ryan. The link is below. We will be testing out everything 3.10 has to offer. Again, thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.